Today, we're going to deep dive into how to approach data science projects. We're gonna walk you through the six crucial stages of a data science project. So let's get started. Did you know, according to LinkedIn, the machine learning engineer title is the fourth fastest growing job. And Glassdoor ranks data science among the top three best jobs in America. With so much demand, it's essential to stand out. Recruiters spend only six seconds on average looking at your resume. So how do you make an impact? By doing novel projects and showcasing the skills all data scientists should have. So let's go through the six stages of a data science project. Stage one, data collection. With data volumes tripling by 2025, it's crucial that you know how to obtain, collect, and clean data. So whether you're reading for file sources, scraping the web, or using APIs, the goal is to amass quality data for your project. But why do you need so much data? Well, after collecting data, the final stage will be model building and deploying it to production. So increasingly, this model's performance will be highly important. One way to do this is by collecting more data. Here, the main thing to focus on is how your model's performance can be improved as the amount of data increases. So here are three ways to collect data. One, you can import a CSV file and read the data in that way. Two, you can scrape data from the web, which is getting so much easier these days with ChatGPT. And three, you can collect data from an API. My vote is to go the API route. It's super useful to learn how to work with an API and it'll give you all the experience you need working with enterprise tools. Stage two, building a data pipeline. So next we're gonna transform our raw data. This stage is often called data cleaning or data wrangling, but basically it's to ensure that our data is in the right format and quality for our analysis. For example, if you have data with a bunch of missing NAs or values, you're gonna to have to figure out a way to handle all of this missing data. That could be getting the average or keeping them as missing values or just replacing them by the min or the max, whatever it is to deal with the data quality you have. All of these small systemic changes to the data will help you in the later stages of analyses. Stage three, data exploration. Now it's time to get to know your data. So using functions like head, described, info, we can understand the data set structure and content. But that's basically just beginner level data science. Everyone already knows how to do this. What you're really trying to do is understand if the data is appropriate for the specific ML model that you're trying to build. So you're trying to get a better understanding of your data's distributions, normalities, outliers, and other variables. The data cleaning and exploration phases should take up about 60% of your time on the project. Step four, data visualization. Visualizations bring your data to life, and it can also be used to further your data exploration phase. So tools like Matplotlib, Seaborn, Tableau, they can help you detect outliers, understand correlations, all visually. So here's an example of looking at distributions. And then here's another example of looking at feature correlations. All of this could be used to understand your data and build your model. And if you're not building a model, then your work might actually just end here. You can create a Tableau dashboard with the data you have, but I'd consider this a data analyst project, not necessarily a data science project. A data science project might have step five, model building, the heart of our project. From choosing the right algorithm to evaluating its performance, you're using this stage to make accurate predictions. There's a systemic approach to this stage for any data science project. It's basically five steps in model building. You're going to need to choose the right algorithm that works best for your data, and that's why we do all of the data exploration stuff in the beginning stages. Then you're gonna need to split the data set into training and test data sets. It helps train your models. And then 
A-B testing, but in terms of trying to find the best performing algorithm. Which then brings us to our last step, which is actually to evaluate your model's metrics using metrics like precision, recall, mean squared error, you know, all of the standard stuff. And now finally, when you've picked your model, it's time to deploy it into production, which means we are going to go above and beyond the standard Jupyter notebook. 90% of data scientists stop once they build the model in a notebook, but many data scientists in industry will actually release their models into production. So it's actually good to know how to do this and to showcase your skills. So whether or not you're working with Flask, Django, or other platforms to host your model, the goal is to make the model accessible to users so you can get feedback and show off your skills. What I would also try to do is to deploy your model on the cloud. Many companies use cloud infrastructure, so getting familiar with one like AWS or GCP might help differentiate yourself amongst the hundreds, if not thousands of applicants to get a job. So there you have it. You have the six stages of a data science project. From collecting data to deployment, each stage is a step towards creating impactful projects that will help you stand out. So if you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to this channel. Thank you.